Yeah, what if they just give a participation medal to... Yeah. <laughs> and it, it just happens to be gold. Hey, everybody, what's up? What's up, Riddler? What's up, Riddler? Oh, another... Oh, okay. Tony, was this freestyle wrestling? Uh, shit, I don't remember. We're talking about Tony's doctor used to be a gold medal uh, wrestler. Like uh, my my family doctor when I was a kid. Not pediatrician, like, you know, when I was like 16 or 17. Gold, huh? Yes. I'm looking at... <laughs> Made I, have no reason to I have no reason to lie about this. to become the most famous person with the name Jason. Greco-Roman. What other face in... But Jason, there's so many uh... different kinds of wrestling. Here's freestyle wrestling. Okay. And that's it. What are there's the other no... ones? <laughs> There's no Greco Roman, yeah. The Greco Roman. Phantom yeah, weight, lightweight, welterweight, middleweight, heavyweight, super heavyweight. Can't you just search for a name? It's it kind of it's hard. Uh if you don't know how to spell it. I don't I know. Don't. I'll ask my mom. Let's see, 1968 Mexico However, City. There are all several other famous Jasons, so you decide to kidnap some of the most famous one. You kidnap Jason Momoa, Jason Bateman, Jason Mewes, and Jason oh, Lee and okay. have them tied in a warehouse. Oh, wow. You saying now that the competition's out of the way, I will become the world's most beloved Jason. You then take your audience into a room where they see a man dressed in a black suit and red tie sitting oh, at the table. He looks like he's about to give away his secrets to you, but instead he gives you the following clue. The secret to becoming famous is to be yourself. Your audience starts cheering for you as you walk up to the table. You found someone in Me Mexico City? Listen, there is a Wikipedia article. There's 134 Iranian Olympic wrestlers entries. What was his last name? <laughs> Jahan, J-A-H-A-N. But I don't know if he changed his name when he came to America. There is a Majid Jahan Dideh. They did it. From 68? 1968. Oh. Born born in 1968. No, that wouldn't be him then. Yeah. He's dead. There is there was an Iranian wrestler who won bronze in 1968. Uh, maybe that's yeah. him. Maybe painted over, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I assumed it was gold, but I was a kid. Maybe it was bronze. Maybe. It doesn't say like bronze. It doesn't say gold on the medal. Right. It says it's got a big number three on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... He would have to be a real badass to win the Olympics the year he was born. Yep, that's true, Bash. Yep. Um, that's one strong baby. But the name is not the same. I think 68. Her last name, Talebi. Talebi. No. That's kind of close to her, too. Okay. So it sounds I'm like sorry, this Jim. guy in black is giving us pretty good advice. <laughs> the secret to becoming famous is to be yourself. Yeah. Your audience starts cheering as you walk to the table. We got, we have our own private uh, chuckle buddy gang that follows around from uh, kidnapping to kidnapping. But how do you find your true self? You need to kidnap more Jasons, I think. Oh, <laughs> you're a kidnapper. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Get yourself. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. You realize the man in the black suit is Jason Statham. He is the most famous Jason left. The crowd cheers even louder as you grab him by the wrist and pull him towards you. Uh oh. Jason, come on, let's go, you shout, grabbing his hand. What? He asks, confused. <laughs> come on, let's go, you yell. You start uh... walking down the street with Jason holding onto your arm. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. What? That you would take me? I don't understand. It's... Well, Riddler, the AI filled in the the void of our the Jason crew here. I feel like we're missing out on a lot of Jasons. Yeah. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I'm yeah. sure they're out there. 
Oh, you got Jason Lee. I just thought of Jason Lee, and I was like, uh, that's why I thought of him because you were because you said him. <laughs> Jason Seagal, yeah. I think you're gonna. Well, those are mythical. That's a uh, a mythical Jason Bash. Yeah. Or was he? Or what? We'll find out. Where are we taking him? I don't know. That's what Jim's gonna decide. Yeah. Decide. We had them all in the next <laughs> warehouse. You, Jason, begins to throw a temper tantrum, saying, "I don't want to walk down the street. I don't know. I want to go to the ice cream oh, store." Oh yeah, Jason. The crowd Steve laughs did. while you continue to look around and shake your head. <laughs> Finally, you get to an intersection and turn right. Where do we want to go? It's like a Truman Show. Do we have the yeah. audience just following us around? It's like yeah. uh. It's like stands on a cart and someone's just pulling it wherever we go. We're probably like live streaming it. And yeah, yeah. The crowd wants to like follow, you know, watch the show. Yeah. It's like a live studio audience. Yeah, exactly. You have hangers on, yeah. Hmm. Hey, they seem to love exactly what we do. Are the police trying to find the missing Jasons? Oh. We're being ourselves. Yeah. Or we're being everybody else. So we're we're responding to texts and emails to keep the uh, the heat down. But it's tough being seven Jasons. Yeah. Oh, we got some heat, all right. Heat. Celebrity heat. Yeah. And Jason Statham must be. He's like, I'm down. I'll help you kidnap the rest of the Jasons. Yes, he's a. He would. Yeah, he's like, I got nothing going on. I like did I like do that one car movie every year. And yeah, then I do I Fast and Furious. I'm set for life. Jason has a secret life. Not really. You drag Jason into the uh, ice on, cream store, point at yourself door. and okay. Jason Statham, then demand they named a flavor in honor of all Jasons. Backslash you ice cream shop, ice cream shop, ice cream shop. Ice cream shop, <laughs> ice cream shop, <laughs> ice cream shop. You as you walk through the streets. Finally, you arrive at the ice cream shop. It has been renamed the most famous Jason. The owner opens the door and walks inside. Hey, who's this? He says. Wow. What? They ice named cream it after us? Ice cream shop. Ice cream shop. Yeah. I honestly <laughs> thought it was in a. You ice cream shop, ice cream shop, ice cream shop. <laughs> you chant as you walk down the streets, yeah. And they renamed it. Yeah, we must be a good customer. The most famous Jason. I do love my ice cream. Um, let's see. That's Jason Voorhees, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jason Voorhees owns the ice cream shop. Standing there, staring at us. Scoops it up with his machete and sticks it out. We have to eat it off the, the tip of the machete. We're like, ah, ice cream chef, ice cream chef. Please don't cut my head off. <laughs> okay, yeah, barge in there. I would like all this ice cream for free, please. You point at the sign and then point at yourself and say, I'm the most famous Jason. My boy Jason would like some of your finest ice cream. Backslash you ice cream shop, ice cream shop. Oh, ice yes, yes, ice yes. Cream. My son, the owner smiles and takes a seat across from you. Oh, this is really nice. Then he pulls a box out of his pocket and hands it to you. Here, eat this and you'll feel better. What? Whoa! He pulls out a box. Is ice cream shop now a verb? Yeah, the AI is learned. What's You ice cream shop. Ice cream shop. Ice cream shop. Usually I don't eat things out of boxes and strangers. 
pockets, yeah. but... Let's, let's let the AI decide. You open the box and see it. A slice of cake. Oh. It tastes like strawberry shortcake, you say. Okay. Not exactly. I don't know if that would make me feel better. Eat this and you'll feel better, yeah. He's like, that was laced with LSD, man. Get ready to have fun. <laughs> and we're like, no! Ooh, We've got a warehouse full of Jasons that need to be fed. We can't do that if we're tripping balls. Shortcake is technically a biscuit. Okay, that's true. Yeah. Welcome back, Tony. We've been handed nice. a, a small box that has strawberry shortcake in it. Oh, okay. I got a package from Amazon and then I decided to get some pizza. Hey. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. There we go. The store owner reveals to you that the cake is laced with psychedelic ingredients. Whoa. You begin to trip balls. Well, if you're sure you want to try this. The owner says, you nod. Okay, here's your money back. <laughs> now go. And with those words, the owner leaves you alone in the middle of a candy aisle. Do, do, do. Hmm. I got, I got this. <laughs> Jason's like, <laughs> I know what I would do. Maybe, Misha. Did, st like, Strawberry Shortcake, I'm not familiar enough with her. Did she have powers? Yeah, I think so, right? Capture more Jasons. What kind of power is that, Dash? The greatest power. You're right. That's the power we have, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we have the this power to make a dozen people happy. It's pretty good. Yeah. 14 hours pass and you are still standing in the middle of the candy aisle whispering ice cream shop, ice cream shop. <laughs> in the meantime, you've spent $10 on a piece of cake. After another day passes and you're still in the middle of the candy aisle. Oh. Another day passes and you're still in the candy aisle. Oh shit. Another day passes and you're still in the candy aisle. Three days? Okay, I'm gonna try this. That strawberry shortbread must have been like, just soaked. Soaked yeah. with LSD. Poor. The whole aisle lot. of candy. Yep, the aisle I wanna of candy. See, I wanna see what happens with this. I like to think the employees notice us, but they're like, I, I, I'm, I tried to go up to talk to the guy, but he was just whispering ice cream shop, and I was like, I don't get paid enough to deal with this guy. Yeah, this you like, decide to yeah. ice cream shop. <laughs> Backslash you ice cream shop, ice cream shop. <laughs> ice cream shop, ice cream shop, <laughs> ice cream shop. <laughs> you chant as you walk through the streets. Oh, okay. Yeah. Finally, you arrive at the ice cream shop. Oh, yeah. It has been renamed. The most famous Jason. Oh. Okay, we the got, owner we opens the door and walks inside. Hey, who's this? He it's says. Like a flashback. Yeah, it's uh. Wow. <laughs> we that was so trippy. <laughs> yeah, this guy was high before the LSD. Maybe. Buy some licorice. But the computer understood what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I like to think it's just, yeah, we didn't know the directions, we just, our brain subliminally knew the way to the ice cream shop from wherever we are on the planet. I think, like, if you have that much LSD, you're going to have some deja vu. 
like for a day or two. Oh, uh, here's Strawberry Shortcake's power. Her magic lets her change the scent of berries. It's like changing the scent of oranges to popcorn. Oh, what? That's very Willy, very Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. That's a very specific also, power, too. Yeah, lame. I know. <laughs> very lame, yeah. Well, I guess you could... It'd just be like a nuisance. You'd be like a trickster. Yeah, it would just be good for pranks. You know, someone's eating, like, strawberries, and you're like, oh, it smells like poop now. Yeah. They're like, oh, but it still tastes like strawberries. It's like, oh my god, something's not fire. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you become famous for standing in the candy aisle at the most famous Jason. People come to watch you consume LSD and trip balls every day. Uh... The owner reveals to you that the cake is laced with psychedelic ingredients. Yep. You begin to trip balls. Well, if you're sure you want to try this. The owner says, you not. Okay, uh, here's your money back. Now go. We're stuck and in the loop. Words, the owner leaves you alone in the middle of a candy aisle. This is the owner's MO. He's just like, I love trapping people named yeah. Jason in the candy aisle. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. President Nixon, Jason's favorite president. Where would you get that idea? That's true. No. But I guess in the text context of this story, where's Jason Statham? He just left us in the candy aisle? Maybe he was always there. Oh. During all of this. Maybe we are Jason Statham. What about that crowd that was following us? I don't know. We're in some, some kind of psychonautic loop. Jason does have uh, a poster of Nixon in his house. <laughs> yeah. It's I right over there. Can... It's right past the frame <laughs> of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Nisha's on our Patreon, so he gets uh, a full 180 degree view of Jason's room. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> the 360 cam. Yeah. Jason, you just trap your webcam to your forehead. Suddenly, you see yeah. President Nixon appear before you, your favorite president. You ask him, wow. ice cream shop, and President Nixon responds, no, 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 ice cream shop. Ice cream shop. <laughs> then you hear the sound of a helicopter and you're suddenly in the middle of a war. Oh, a shit. war between the forces of good and evil. What? Your life is now over. <laughs> wow. Pepperoni, Misha. I, I would like to, it didn't say death. I would like to think our life is now over is like, uh, yeah, wow. Like oh, a, like as you know it. Yeah, we're gonna die. We're tripping balls. We're stuck in the middle of a war. There's a helicopter. All right, take us home, Tony, on this one. It just sounds like a typical acid trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never fought in Vietnam. Pineapple is good on pizza with bacon. Yeah. Yeah. I, it depends too, because if they just do the you whole realize like, slice everything of pineapple, is ice cream, yeah, and it always like was. Yeah. Good and evil are an illusion. You ice cream shop the ice cream shop, and it ice cream shops. <laughs> Your life is finished. Your life is finished. Okay, now that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty definitive. Yeah. Pretty good. I'll check those out though. You gotta cube it up though. It's gotta be like small cubes. So it's, you just get like the taste, but you're not like I'm not, chewing I'm not a, a big ass fan. chunk of pineapple. The only fruit that you should have on pizza is tomato. Yeah. Uh, Jibber Tony, you got a prompt? 
Yep. Get I on. also have one. Okay. I have one. Type it on okay. there. Not crazy excited about it, but we'll see. What? Oh, okay. Sometimes I just don't know if the crossfire. A rodeo clown in Dallas, Texas. Your job is to distract the dangerous bulls while the cowboys can escape the ring. I like that. Look, it's like basket. I just, oh, I just don't know if the uh, computer will understand the job. So wow. I think so. Rodeo clown. That seems like a yeah. cabot thing. Hello. That seems like something that would be on the internet. I love baskets. I don't know if you've ever watched, but. That's on my list of shows to watch. Very good. Louis Anderson plays his mom. Mm -hmm. Really? And then uh, Zach Galifianakis has a twin brother that he also plays. So. Mm. Louis is the bomb, yeah. <laughs> oh. You are in a showdown against the fiercest bull in Texas. His Louis name Anderson. is Duke Bullington, and he has you in his sight. He's an older comic. You have been hired by Mr. Zoll, an old friend of yours from school who owns a small circus here in town. He wants someone like you to help him out. You know nothing about this circus, but it sounds like a lot of fun, so you agree to do it. Mr. Zoll will pay you $25 for your trouble. See, that's what I meant. It doesn't understand rodeo clown. No, no, no. There's like, clown. there's like rodeos, so... We've never been a rodeo for a circus before. Yeah, he wants so. someone like you to help him out. Yeah. Because, like, in oh, yeah, it's again, yeah, they did ignore you. Yeah. Yeah, they ignored the bull situation. Mm hmm. Uh, tell Mr. Zoll, hey, uh, I'm kind of in the middle of a bullfight right now, so. <laughs> yes, but can you wait? <laughs> yeah, he's like yelling from the crowd, hey, I got a job for you, you interested? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've got a circus! You get a whole $25! <laughs> I recommend you ice, crop, <laughs> ice cream shop yeah, you, the situation. You get it. You ice cream. <laughs> You get into the ring where you see Duke Bullington what? charging at you with his horns oh, raised high. Oh, it picked high. it up! Oh, shit, he it is worked. huge. <laughs> you try to keep up with him, but he is faster than you thought. You feel a punch <laughs> in your side knock you down. You land hard on the ground and hear some laughter coming from outside the ring. How I can't that believe work? that worked. <laughs> wow. It was like, I'm oh, ice cream, you mean the bullfight. I gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. The AI is like, oh yeah, that's right. I should probably go back yeah. to that. Mm. <laughs> There's no reason for that working. <laughs> Red Bull flavored ice cream. Eh, I don't really like the taste of Red Bull. It's just kind of like medicine. Whenever I take it. And I usually only have a Red Bull when I'm like on a road trip where I uh, just need it to survive and can't get a coffee. Hmm. Yeah, it's only, it only tastes good cold. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. He's a circus bull. <laughs> Yeah. You realize the laughter is coming from Mr. Zoll. He and Duke Bullington wink at one another, and you realize they are in cahoots. Duke gets ready to charge again. Backslash you fight back, you look around frantically trying to find something that might help you, but all you can think about is how bad you want to go home. You start fighting back, kicking and punching Duke. Hey, Thunder Guy, The crowd up? goes wild as you make a mess of your opponent. What? When you finally stand back up, you notice that the referee has stopped the fight. What? There's a referee? I guess. Yeah. A rodeo referee. Yeah. Normally, normally the, the ref is there to make sure the bull doesn't hurt you, but it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. We gotta get in there. <laughs> time out. Yeah, time out. <laughs> this one's for the bull. Spit on the referee.
Hmm. You got it, Jim? No, you got it. Uh, I was just going to try to get the computer to continue. Or okay. Or I'll do it. Or I'll just next it. No, I got it. I got it. Okay, good. Oh, good, Thunder God. Uh, what happened? Yeah. Did you get banned or was it just uh, password stuff? Ah, uh, okay. Well, good. Welcome back. What do you do with your friend, Misha? Uh, your you look around the stadium low, at the Tony. crowd cheering for you. Sorry. The oh, referee God. then announces. What do you do with your Backslash friend? you win the fight. Ah. You win the fight. Ah. Mr. Zoll won the fight. The announcer says. What? I'm no. sure you're very happy to be alive after such a big man. The next day you receive a check for $25 from Mr. Zoll. Okay. Thank you, you say. No problem, MR. No problem, MR. Okay. <laughs> so I guess that was like our interview was fighting this. Uh, yeah, yeah. This big ass bull. Did you know? Mr. Zoll won the fight. Yeah, there's new V bone items, yeah. I forget what's new and what's not. Yeah, oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. That's just our thing. That's where we yeah. try to get everyone you to You walk around us. town trying to get We're people natural. to charge at you. They always laugh when they see you. Mm. One woman even offers you her seat on the bus. She tells you she's sorry she didn't tell anyone what happened before because if everyone knew, things would have been different. Yeah, that's true. What the hell happened? What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Something embarrassing happened that we had to... Maybe we, like, got gored in an embarrassing way. But, like, that's the guy with no testicles. Rosa Parks reference. A Rosa Parks? Yeah, no, Rosa, no, no. Rosa Parks would not give up her seat. <laughs> not much happened yet, I see, yeah. Just your, you know, uh, your average you know bullfighting you... story. You know where you can find the bus that Rosa Parks uh, refused to give her seat up on? Right here in uh, Metro Detroit, Michigan. I did not know that. But wasn't yeah. it in, like, uh, the south? Wasn't it in Atlanta? Yeah, but the bus the bus is up here. It was in uh, Alabama. Oh, so it wasn't a local bus? No. <laughs> they brought it on up. I'll rust it out now. Tony lives in Michigan? Yeah, we're all Detroit. Secret. We all <laughs> live in Detroit. Yeah. Secrets. Secrets. Secrets ice cream shop you ask her can you tell me the story about what happened again i really love the way you tell that story she then tells you the bus ride was just starting it was late afternoon and you had no intention of getting off the bus you were going to sit there until everyone got off or until the driver told you to move oh that would be the last time you ever sat on the bus again oh you sat in the middle of the bus you couldn't believe how empty it looked. Mm. Story or not? It's not in quotes. Yeah. Uh, are we homeless? This... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it seems like, why wouldn't we want to get off the bus? I'm going to sit here until you tell me to move. Um, I don't know if we're best friends, but we're friends. We're good friends. It's weird yeah. the oh, yeah. it's where the tense it uses though. That would be the last time you ever sat on the bus again. Yeah, exactly. Maybe the AI knows the future, or maybe she's the story. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. We are not close to Flint, uh, but Flint still needs safe drinking water. It's a travesty that that hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Oh wow, that documentary is really old. If you're talking about Roger and me. By the automotive industry. Yeah. This still sounds like a loose Rosa Parks adaptation. <laughs> a little bit. We'll sit here until 
Rodeo clowns everywhere get the respect they deserved. Hey, I'm not getting off this bus until you tell me to get off this bus. Mm -hmm. Tell your stepdads to call Congress for play. Yes. So this has gone from like a, a bullfight to like a city on the bus. I think at the bus depot, a bunch of bulls like surround the bus. Like maybe we're being followed or something. And they're like, hey, what the hell? Oh, like Duke Bullington's got friends. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. We saw that display earlier. The ref said call it off and you still kept going. So now we're gonna gore the shit out of you. Yeah, you think you're so great, don't you? You take the bus to the end of the line. You are in what seems like a ghost town. There is a group of rodeo bulls waiting for you. Nice. They are all wearing cowboy hats. Huh. All Go. of them have guns pointed right at you. Guns! Get off the bus now, one of the riders yells. You don't understand why the rider yelled, get off the bus now, instead of saying don't shoot. Huh. Then you realize that you weren't supposed to leave the bus at all. Nope. If there is balls and cowboy hats with guns outside the bus, you do not get off the bus. Yeah, you stay on the bus. Yeah. This is the true story of the civil rights movement, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rosa Parks it. is like, I I'm not getting off this bus, not with that giant bull out there. Mm -hmm. With a cowboy hat and a gun. Based on the true story. Mm hmm. Tony, what kind of pizza is that? Detroit pizza? No, Renee is gluten free pizza. Hey. Oh. I put play GTA 5 into the AI, it made me kill myself. Oh, I'll stop being a fan of Rockstar. Yeah. Wow. You hit the floor as the bus is riddled with a hail of gunfire. You stake oh. off and punch the lead bull right in the balls. This sends him into a rampage. He charges at you with both horns raised high. You jump up and kick him away from the bus. You run over to the driver and grab his pistol. You point the gun at the bull and pull the trigger. The bullet hits the bull square in the chest killing him instantly. Damn! Oh my god, the bus driver screams. <laughs> he killed the bull. That's what you're st oh my god -ing about? Dude, bus driver, your, your bus is gone. It's yeah. It's been shredded by bullets. And yet, you only care when I kill a bull? The driver has a gun. Yeah, this is a... This is a bus driver that's been in the game. He knows, yeah. <laughs> tell the bus driver's full of bull crap? Yeah. I'd tell him that's what you call a bullseye. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, the bull puns. The bull is the main villain. Seems mm -hmm. like it. This bull just couldn't leave well enough alone. Oh. Ah, I like that. You climb to the top of the bull's massive corpse and raise your pistol in glory. You yell at the other bulls, I am Butch Crossfire and you are not. Leave if you want your lives spared. Butch, please calm down, the driver says. <laughs> we need to get out of here. Don't listen to him, the Butch Crossfire shouts. I am the, the greatest Butch killer Crossfire. in history, and I'll show these assholes what happens to those that fuck with me. Oh. Cool. Okay, wow. What a badass. Dude, we know how to fight balls, okay? That's, we've been doing that for years. Yeah.
I'm not a clown anymore. I like how the bus driver is instantly like the voice of reason. Yeah. He's, he's like, dude, just go walk away. <laughs> Greatest killer, even better than Manson. Huh? Let's see if the AI understands this. Manson didn't kill anyone, though. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> you open up a can of woo bass on the bulls. <laughs> They scream and stumble backwards in fear. Oh! You fire several more bullets into their bodies. The bull carcasses litter the road. Oh! Suddenly, a bullet hits you in the head. You fall to the ground still holding the gun. Blood gushes out of your skull as you die. Oh. Oh. Damn. Well, <laughs> Manson convinced other people to kill for him. But Manson himself doesn't have any murders against him no no I, I i got it guys don't worry a stray bullet hit you yeah after all that badassery who shot us yeah it was uh the owner of the circus i Probably. bet it was a fucking bus driver <laughs> it was mr zoll maybe oh yeah it was all set up the bulls shot back? Well, yeah. Who knows? That could be. Too. Yeah, they had guns. They and did. Yeah. Maybe the computer meant it was like uh, the Chicago Bulls. That's oh. bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. And yeah, be in the way. Bop, 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 bop. Scotty Pippen shot you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the bus there driver go. breaks That's your it. body in his easy <laughs> top flag and pours Coors beer on your head wound. He plays kid rock music and it brings you back to life. The bulls bow before you. You are the bull god. The end. Uh, the end. Yeah. Uh, yep. Perfect. I, I am the bull god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tony, you got your prompt? Yes. Punch it on in there. Who's Kid Rock? I guess I should be happy. He's a local know. celebrity. Yeah. Nationally famous. <laughs> Married Pamela Anderson. Did he? Yeah, for a while. Oh, wow. And then I think they got divorced because she had hepatitis C and didn't tell him. Oh. When will the devs say I don't use the tags the community did? What do you mean by that, Thunder God? You are Tommy Whitmore, the neighborhood kid who mows people's lawns. Oh. You do good work, but most people don't know this. Hmm. Oh, uh, that was just a train for a uh, quest, I think, Thunder God. I'm pretty sure they were like trying to train a new bottle for uh, the quest system. Is this gonna be like Lawnmower Man? <laughs> no. <laughs> Tommy Whitmore. You should mow down someone. Oh. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> We'll mow down someone's prices with our low, low rates. <laughs> Wait, do you, did you want to say prices again? What? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, we're going to mow down prices with our low, low rates. You cut my brain fart, yeah. You one day while mowing old Mr. Jameson's lawn, your mower hits something and stalls out. 
Oh. You oh. turn over the mower and find. You slowly open your eyes to see a man standing in front of you holding a sawed-off shotgun. Whoa. He is Whoa. dressed all in black with no identifying marks on him except for his boots. Man in black. His face shows no emotion as he stares at you. The stranger reaches into his coat pocket and takes out a key ring. Give me the keys, he says coldly. Whoa! Keys to the lawnmower? Yeah, scary. The man stalled mm. your motor. Yeah, super tough skin. Yeah, we're just like running over his foot. He has the keys, yeah. <laughs> You're holding them in your hands. Maybe he's like, <laughs> keys to his heart. <laughs> <laughs> that would I don't know if that would be more or less scary if the scary guy was like give me the keys to ya huh I'd be like uh, I'm more scared now I don't wanna, I don't want to mister I don't love you this is pretty creepy though yeah and presumably it's like the middle of the day or early morning. This guy is just like in broad daylight doing this. Mm -hmm. It's like a good trailer for a movie though. We're mowing the lawn, it gets stuck, yeah. and we're trying to fix it and we look up and there's a guy with a key ring. He's Tabby Whitmore. He's the most helpful <laughs> neighbor boy in the subdivision. But one day, and that scary music plays. Da -da -da -da. An escaped convict from a mental institution. Give me your keys. Give me your keys. <laughs> and then they go on wacky adventures with a dog and a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the comically large key to the city you want for best lawn mowing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Oh mm -hmm. shit. Oh, the computer's thinking about this. Yeah, it's really. Yeah, yeah. You realize the man before you is the legendary lawn master, a mafia boss who makes his money shaking down neighborhood lawn boys for cash. Crying, you give him the keys to your mower, but you tell him. You're not gonna get away this, mister. <laughs> the next morning, you head to school where you meet Mrs. Miller, the girl mm. you've been seeing. She tells oh. you she doesn't know what to make of you and that you look like you just came back from the dead. When yeah. you arrive home, you go upstairs to change clothes and hear knocking on the door. Opening it, you see an older woman wearing morning dress. Have Wait, you seen Mrs. My so first of all, Mrs. Miller, we're seeing a married lady in the neighborhood. Yeah. That's the first detail. I think, like, just literally seeing, not, like, dating. No, I think we're dating no, it's an just, older it's woman. The girl you've been seeing. Oh, That okay. definitely means they're dating. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. yeah. Wow. We, so right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, she's, she's a teacher. You head to school where you meet Mrs. Miller. She's a teacher at the school. Hey. You it, know, hey, a, most, most uh, you know, teacher rapes are women. <laughs> that is probably not true, Jim. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Where did you get that fact from? Um, Your ass? There's a lot of them. A lot of them are women. Uh, <laughs> Jim, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> God, that, that argument <laughs> fell apart so quickly. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even try to defend it. He's like, oh, I heard it. I heard some of them are, you know. Uh, well, okay, I just... Mm. Or, I mean... I've seen like 16 and pregnant. People usually get married pretty young. Maybe she's just got recently divorced. She's just another girl in school. And she's Mrs. Miller. The girl who got pregnant at 15. What have you done, Lisa? Oh, he's saying that the girl is our mom, but no, her last name is a Whitmore. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Give her the keys to your butt, yeah. You open the door and say, what is it, Grandma? She replies, it's Tommy, and hugs you tightly. I'm so glad you're here. It's Tommy! 
Yes, Grandma, what's up? What happened to Miss Miller? Maybe Grandma's gonna give us a little warning. Kill Mr. Miller with your lot bar? Oh, shit. Yeah. Bury them in the backyard. Miss Miller's like, just come over whenever you want. A sex. And a mow on because that still needs to happen. Alright, I couldn't find any substantial mm -hmm. data. Exactly. Plenty of lonely housewives with... <laughs> just waiting Come for the, mail on, man, the mailman to talk to them for a little bit extra that day. Mm -hmm. This is a story about pedophile t-shirts. You tell grandma that the mafia is threatening you. You ask her to kill the lawn master as an early birthday present for you. Oh. Grandma agrees and puts a bullet in him. Oh. Oh. After the deed is done, she asks you if you want to go outside to play. <laughs> you decline and return inside. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Wow, Grandma, no questions asked. Just get it Damn. done. I'll be right back. Uh, Lawn Master, can I borrow some sugar? Sure. And as he turns around, you shoot him in the back. Just unload. <laughs> You want a sandwich? You want a sandwich? <laughs> She's cleaning her gun in the sink. <laughs> cool grandmother, yeah. Grandma's got a dark past, yeah. She's like, yeah. Don't you ever ask me about it. <laughs> now you go play. Yeah, you go play. Nah, I think we're gonna stay inside, Grandma. But thanks. Now, whatever. You want a sandwich? I'll make you some milk and cookies. Also, it seems like we live with our grandma, which means, uh, probably no parents in the picture here. Oh, good point. Probably got. She'll give you whacked. a knuckle sandwich? Yeah, we don't want to fuck with this <laughs> grandma. No, your true love. The old people, old people would eat everything. They probably would eat knuckle sandwiches, like pig knuckles, and make a sandwich <laughs> out of it. <laughs> you mowed your parents? Oh my god! Yeah, a series of lawn mowing you related killings. You mowed your parents. You mowed your parents. No, no, you're bringing back the horrible memories. You decide to replace the lawn master as head of the mafia, with grandma as your enforcer. You begin taking out the grass brass one blade at a time. <laughs> Soon you have taken them all out. Okay. Uh, probably maybe like... Uh, like eight guys? Mm -hmm. Sure. Hold on a second. Let me get the... Mow down your school bully? Yeah, now that we have the power of the Mafia behind us. Well, actually, now it's just us and Grandma. We, I think we just killed everyone in the Mafia. So we took over, and then we... I guess we gotta replace them with new people, right? How old is Grandma? Oh, I like to think she's ancient, like 94. But she's still, like... Uh, hits the weights every day and does like tuck and roll. Start selling illegal lawnmowers. That's possible. Yeah, we gotta do some CD. Tony, you better come back and share your pizza with the rest of us. Yeah, no mm -hmm. shit. A gluten free rice oh, flour pizza. That's right. It's not good pizza, I guess. It could be good. Could I don't be. have anything against rice flour. Yeah. Hmm. Not as good. <laughs> Put the pizza through the screen. Yeah. I'm waiting for that technology to come out. What did Tony have to do with taxes or something? I don't know. Yeah. Okay? 
He's getting a visit from the Tommy Whitmore here. He's going to get mowed down. Yeah. We just see the screen start shaking. All right, here we go. You got it? Mm -hmm. He's running away from the IRS. Yeah, right now. Or he's burying a dead body. That could also be. Gotta do it before the sun goes down. Oh. Sorry, the dog had to go out. Oh, you're good. Oh, hmm. oh man. Ooh, 8 Mile. Was that a subtle uh, reference, Jim? No. You own every road. lawn job within an 8 mile radius. Everyone now fears and respects you. Okay. You buy a shiny new riding lawnmower and put a bumper sticker on it that reads Ride or Die. <laughs> Backslash you continue to the end you ride through the night until you reach the outskirts of town, then you stop. You can feel the fear in everyone's eyes. You take out your pistol and shoot three men who approach you. Whoa! They fall to the ground clutching their stomachs. You walk up to the fourth one and fire twice into his chest. Whoa. Four kills? I guess they're vibing. Because... Um. Uh, I guess it's not implicitly kills, but I'm gonna track it as such. No, I think that is fuck. Yeah. And that's wow. the worst kind where, like, we shoot him in the stomach and just watch him bleed out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What a monster Tommy has become. He was just mm -hmm. mowing people's lawns, and now he's mowing people's. Bodies. Oh, uh, yeah, bodies. I was trying to think <laughs> of something. Mowing people's lawns, and now he's mowing people's uh, loves. I don't know. I was trying to come up with something that would rhyme. Loves, love, <laughs> bonds. <laughs> Everyone wants mom's spaghetti. But these guys did approach us. Yeah, I mean, they were like, they were, oh, okay, here we go. Get away from my lawnmower. Get off my lawn. Tommy has changed for sure. Yeah. He's like Walter White, but with lawn mowing. Mm -hmm. This is like the Breaking Bad of lawn mowing. <laughs> Tommy's matured into a nice guy. <laughs> Breaking blade. That's good. My grandma taught us how. Yeah. Yeah, what's grandma up to in all this? Well, we're about to find out. Mmm. Ooh, breaking lawn. That's kind of like a Twilight reference in my book. This, this kid would have an older girlfriend. I mean, a, a married woman teacher at his school? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this is the Dark Souls of Lawnmower, yeah. Also, hi, sure, why not? You look at the flyers in the man's hand and see that they were volunteers collecting money for the Wounded Warrior Project. You can't let Grandma know about this or she'd be furious. As you turn around, you see Grandma is standing there. Uh -oh. Tommy. She shouts, get out of my house. I'll call the police. You nod and leave. Damn, now we're homeless. Also, yeah, come on, Tommy. You can't just go shooting guys willy-nilly that walk up to you. Yeah. Gotta <laughs> kill grandma. <laughs> <laughs> grandma, she helped us get to the top. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough fight. This is a one tough 
fucking grandma. But yeah, you're right. I think so. We've got to inherit that house and hope she doesn't change the will fast enough. I know I fucked up, Grandma, but not as fucked as you're gonna be by kicking me out of the house. Grandma will die in a few months anyway. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Who's gonna even know? Grandma's gonna put the cap in your ass. Probably. Yes. We're gonna be put in our place. B bow down, Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> Time to no. break out the lawnmower. <laughs> I don't think we would survive. I don't think so either. You yeah. go to your married teacher girlfriend's house. She opens the door and you say I need to crash here for a while. My grandma kicked me out. She smiles and nods. Okay, she says. You enter her kitchen and sit down at the table. She looks at you with concern. Are you okay, she asks. You reply yeah, why? Because, because I'm not supposed to be here. I shouldn't be doing this, but. Mm. Uh, but uh, we might have to continue that one, yeah. But what? Tell us, Miss Miller. But but but. But but but. but, but I, I can't help myself. Uh. <laughs> I know I should say no, but my heart says yes. Mm. <laughs> Bow down, your girlfriend. You continue. I'm not supposed to be doing this because... She stops herself from saying more by looking at you. Look, I know you think you're doing this for grandpa, but you're really doing this for yourself. Wow! It's a very selfish oh. thing you're doing. But it has to be done. And it will help you in the long run. Wow, Mrs. Miller putting us in a, our place. Yeah, damn. This is like the Skylar conversation in Breaking Bad life. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's also like, you do have to do it. <laughs> oh yeah, she's like, well, you're, you're too far gone now, but revenge of the grandpa, yeah. I think she's trying to say like, don't lie to yourself saying you're doing it for someone else's good. Just do it for yourself and do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tony knows. Tony knows what we gotta do. Oh yeah, Tony is super good with women. <laughs> I know what the best. Is. Yeah. I'm the woman master. <laughs> this is Miller teaching Mara the class and in class. Yep. We don't even have the same. He's not even in, uh, any of our teachers. <laughs> we're, we're not smart enough to be in Miss Miller's class. We're in like remedial everything. He's teaching honors classes. Tony is drowning in the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Everyone in Tony's neighborhood gets flash flood warnings because uh, yeah. they know the pussy's uh -huh. coming. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, has the Tony, wears, Tony wears water wings all the time. <laughs> yeah. Can't drown in the pussy. <laughs> Uh, take us home, Tony. <laughs> this water tastes weird, Jim. <laughs> Mommy, I want to go swimming. <laughs> no, well, no. Why not? Just get in the house. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Dang. Oh. You call grandma on the phone. When she asks, you tell her, I am the one who mows, <laughs> then you hang up. You go to Mrs. Miller's garage, set her lawnmower on fire, and watch the house burn down. Cool. Aftermath, you wake up in bed. A knock comes on the door. Trickman. Come on out, we gotta start cleaning up. Dot, you answer. What? No, she answers. I'm sorry. But I can't allow you in here right now. I'm afraid my grandmother might kick the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's great. 
Oh, we still gotta start cleaning up Dot. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Can't let you in. My grandmother might kick the shit out of you. Take us home, Jason. Mm, let's see. All right. I love that the AI knows our grandmother is not one to be fucked with. Yeah. Well, the AI is the one who decided to just kill someone, cold blood, and then ask us if we're hungry. No, no, no. I, I asked her as a favorite early birthday present to kill the lawn master. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wu-Tang Graham ain't nothing to fuck with. Ooh, that'd be good Instagram, like an Instagram for old people. Oh, wait, that's called Facebook. Boom. <laughs> oh, Bash was able to get the F word into the chat. Hey. And also, Pussy, Pussy's made it into the chat. Yeah. Nighthawk is, a, is asleep at the wheel Mrs. Tonight. Miller says, well, I am going to kill your grandma, so then you'll have to listen to whatever I say. Oh. Well, then come on in, Dot, you say. And she does. And she does. Mm-mm. Oh, you got it, Jim. Okay. But there's no one but you in, our, in your house, yeah. I feel like Grandma's just sitting on a recliner yeah, in the dark. And she goes, you're gonna kill me, huh? You bitch. <laughs> oh, she's just... Tommy, you've been a very bad boy. Yeah, Tommy. Who's this whore you break into my house? You're going to propose to your girlfriend, Misha, when the lockdown is over? Why start another lockdown after one ends? Come uh, on. Oh. Yep, Thunder God knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, Chip's got it. Gotta wrap it all up. Oh. Uh, okay, that's a good ambiguous sense. All right, we'll see what the AI comes up with. Try sneaking a whoopee here. Whoa, with grandma? No, with the... She shows you the pistol the that teacher, she has right? tucked into yeah. her belt, and she says, now kiss me, or else, and she smiles. Hmm. You open the door and step out. You walk towards her and grab her wrist. She pulls her arm back and screams. Don't hurt me, she cries. Oh, fuck off, Dot. You say and shove her against the wall. No! You pull your pants down and proceed to hashtag hashtag no! hashtag no! hashtag. No! When you're Tim. finished, oh. you ejaculate onto her body. Oh my god! No! <laughs> no! I have not oh. thought of that, Oh my god! She was just role playing. <laughs> no! But she asked for it, so how is it a hashtag? She you say said, ice cream don't hurt shop me. And throw the ice cream cone <laughs> yeah, at her. That's your version of asking Then you laugh for it and too? say, see, this isn't hard. Then throw the ice cream cone at her and say, see, this isn't hard. Okay. We need to. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll. Uh, yeah, we need to turn this around. I feel like Tommy's gonna die now. <laughs> oh. We can't. Oh my god, that took such a dark turn. Why, Tommy? Only on Pornhub, yeah. Now it, Grandma's gotta kill us or something. Or we we mow ourselves down. We just lay down in the, the lawn and watch as the mower runs us over. We're like, we deserve this. We're garbage. Hopefully Grandma doesn't join. <laughs> oh no, Grandma's watching the whole thing. She's like, that's my boy. Oh yeah. She's a, she's a bad grandma. I'm know? so... It was such a lighthearted story. <laughs> of, uh, no, I The Lawn Mafia? I guess not really. No, yeah. 
Grandma and teacher porn together. Oh my god. Oh yeah, a parent teacher conference night. Oh mm -hmm. no. Okay, tell me he's really thinking about this one. Yeah, this is it. Bad grandpa too, bad grandma. <laughs> yeah. All right, Tony, make everything right. Yeah, and we threw ice cream at her after that. Come on. Mm hmm That was the real disrespectful part. <laughs> yeah, that's cold-blooded. Yeah. We got it, Misha. <laughs> <laughs> I love the explanation. <laughs> uh, well, guilt means this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. You feel a coldness in your chest suddenly, a coldness that's colder than ice cream. Oh, tell me, that's beautiful. You look down and see a pool of blood spreading across your chest. You look up and see Grandma pointing her pistol at you. She tells you, little long boys should stay out of turf wars. You collapse. The end. Yes! yes. Wow. That's perfect. Ah. <laughs> Okay, that was good. <laughs> Grandma gets the last laugh. Yeah, Misha, we call gilfs milfs. They're milfs to us. <laughs> that's how old we. That's how old we are. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's how. It oh, works. we know. Yeah. <laughs> we know. We don't the acknowledge older, the grandparents. Yeah. The older you get, the more you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dun 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 dun. Uh, Star flying across the sky. Yeah, the more you know. Uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, tell your step grandmas your yep, step, you know step grandpas will have to include one of them one of these days yeah a step grandpa is a grandpa tell your step way. gilfs yeah yeah <laughs> now gilfs means right. yeah and your teacher girlfriend and uh, yeah 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 tell people we're we're getting so close i didn't think we were gonna reach it but we might actually reach our follower yeah goal. yeah 105. yes we can do it we can do all it. you have to do is believe post yeah. this on reddit or something yeah i yeah. already did that's what got a lot of uh views so yeah uh yeah. yeah anyway yeah. we do this every night at eight so see you tomorrow at eight 8 p.m eastern good night everybody peace